All right, welcome to the Emilio Exploring Channel. Today we are here at the Roundabout, which is also the start of Point Defiance. See, they got this cool sign. We're gonna be walking around, checking out some new stuff, some old stuff, and some, well, just whatever we want. So let's get going. So Point Defiance has a lot of stuff to look at. There's also Five Mile Drive. There is, what is that? Now there's also a new section down at the, uh, the Dune Peninsula, which is this way, and they built a new bridge, which connects the park to uh, the Tacoma Waterfront. But today we're gonna just be going around Point Finance and a uh, five mile drive. Look at that. I'm gonna go under it, guys. You ready? Let's go. Whoa. Okay, so here's the map. It's kind of an updated map because they have the Dune Peninsula Park, which I rode a skateboard down and then a little bit down the Tacoma waterfront. Uh, that one's pretty cool, I longboarded. We're somewhere, where are we? Somewhere here, I believe. At this park, there's a Japanese garden pagoda with uh, some garden stuff. There's a rhododendron garden. There's also the zoo, which I shot a video at before. Then a bunch of trails. There's something called the Mountaineer Tree, which we're gonna look at, which is pretty neat. And then there's a Gig Harbor viewpoint, which is pretty cool as well. And then the Narrows viewpoint. Oh, and a, a really big botanical garden, which I think we're gonna go look at probably first. Yeah, let's go do that. Okay. Here we are. So Point Finds has probably one of the most impressive rose gardens I've seen. Look at all these rows of roses. Uh, yeah, we're gonna walk around here and then there's another garden section through that way. And then we'll probably check out the um, Japanese garden over there. So let's look around. So that's definitely impressive. And they also have a iris garden and a dahlia section as well. But now we're gonna work our way over, over to this side and check out some of these uh, cool plants over here. So yeah, there's a little palm tree section over that way. And then this nice spot here with different plants and stuff. And here's a very cool spot. I think during zoo lights and uh, certain times, this is filled with lights and also flowers like that. And it's also been here a long time. I remember seeing it in the uh, Tacoma's Point Defiance book, which is like a local publication. And that one's a really good book if you want to look and see what all this stuff is or what used to be around. But yeah, this one is pretty neat right there. Here we go. We have a little wishing well and there's some more gardens. And then the house up here is actually a historical house. We'll go there in a second. But yeah, this is Super nice, I love, if you know my channel, you know I love gardens. So Point Defiance uh, Park and Five Mile Drive is uh, a park, but there's also a zoo and aquarium, which is up this way. And there's remnants of um, the old zoo and stuff. And I'm gonna show you an old exhibit that's kind of maybe a little bit forgotten I think it housed a bear, if I remember correctly. Yeah, if you look here, you can tell that there was like a water section and then a, a wall. There looks like so there's a service door. And then they put a fence up, but let's go look around the back. Here's some more section to that old exhibit. The bear grotto. There's some 
little bars on the windows there. And they have some benches set up, which is kind of cool. It's pretty neat. A little bit of hidden history here at Point Defiance. So as I'm walking back, I saw this plant here. And I think the other place I seen one of these was at the um, the WW Seymour Garden in Tacoma. I think it's at Wright Park. There's a, uh, a giant greenhouse, and I think they have one of those. I'll link that one up top as well, because that was a pretty cool place. I love going there too. So here we are at the Visitor's Lodge. Pretty neat. So it's Lodge 5715. I'm not really sure how lodges work. Like if they all get numbers if it's like an official lodge. It's kind of interesting. This one's cool though. Pretty nice. Onward to the pagoda. See there it is. So we're walking up to the uh, Japanese garden section and the pagoda. And it's going to be a hot day. I think it's going to be about 80 today. It's like 11 o'clock and the park's getting pretty active. There's a lot of people here and people just setting up chairs and just chilling. But there's the pagoda. Looks like they're doing some maintenance right now over here. Look at that. Pretty cool. They got the arch there. And then yeah like I said the water is gone. It's a little bit. And this thing's pretty neat. This has actually been here a long time. They kind of rejuvenated it in the last couple years, but in the old history books, this has been here for a while. You can see the tower looks pretty old, a lot older than the rest of the building. And then I'm going to show you guys something else over here. Something that I think people sometimes miss, but it's pretty cool. So there's another shot of the pagoda. And if you walk down a little bit, kind of by where you go down to the ferry terminal and the old boathouse, which seems to be shut down right now, there's this cool um, 10 inch shell from the VSS Main. Look how big this is. And it's a huge shell. And it's just, uh, they put it as a piece of kind of like historical art out here. But that's pretty neat. Definitely check this out. It's huge and to see that it gets launched from some type of weapon and it's that big is pretty impressive. So here's an additional part of the garden on the back side of the pagoda. And uh, has some pretty massive trees. It also seems, oh, and a bridge, which is nice. Seems like they're doing a lot of work with the uh, the water things here, maybe fixing pumps and stuff, but look how massive this tree is. There's actually one other tree in the park that I think is this big, or actually bigger. It's called the Mountaineer tree, and we'll probably look at that later. But this is a massive, I believe it's a redwood, gi I mean a giant sequoia. That's, Right there, I'm gonna say a giant sequoia. Impressive. So as I'm walking back to the car to go to the next spot, I think we'll go to Owens Beach as well. Um, but there's also tennis courts here over this direction. And there is a viewpoint over here where you can see the ferry is pretty cool. And also see the new Dune Peninsula Park, which is a new park where you can check it out. And there's some cool art I've been there a few times. It's pretty cool. We'll swing this way, look at a statue. Captain Charles Wilkes. Look, they have a cool plaque right there. So here's a spot that used to be a, a viewpoint right there. Looks kind of like it's shut down. And now if you want to look at the water, you can actually walk to the, the bridge, which is this way. And you can actually get some pretty good views over here. So here's that bridge I was talking about. You can also see the mountain over there. It's pretty cool. I got a video at the uh, slide steps over there, so check that one out if you want to see the, the slide steps. And here's the statue I was talking about. And then this is the indoor swimming pool. 
right here, which used to be, I believe, pretty much right here, or from what I gather over on that side, or what used to be here. But it actually like ran water up from the sound, which is kind of interesting. And here's a very nice statue of Francis W. Cushman. Man can ask, God can give no more. Noble life, a noble death. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty neat. I went over and shot a video at the uh, slides, the slide stairs over by the new bridge over there. So check that one out, I'll link that. It's a short, fun video. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get going because the park is getting really full. So I think we're gonna try to go to Owens Beach and then the Mountaineer Tree. So that's what we're hoping to see. So let's go. And if you liked the video, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. That helped my channel out quite a bit. Let's see if we can find a parking spot because it's getting pretty busy. The zoo and aquariums that way, Owen Beach, Fort Nisqually, and all other attractions this way. So yeah, there's also a rhododendron garden here, picnic area, and just tons and tons of trails. I think we're going to see if we can park here and go check out the rhododendron garden. I think it's, yeah, it's right here. So I'm now over by the rhododendron garden which is over that way and if you look down here there's a building right there and there's a spot over here and there actually used to be a, uh, a bridge that went across and that's kind of why that building's there there was like a bit of a bridge let's uh let's cross the street here so yeah there's the sign and they have a bunch of rhododendrons and trees in here and azaleas or something and this kind of connects to all of the, uh, the trails. There's a ton of trails going into Five Mile Drive. And uh, we'll just take a quick peek in here. Looks like we maybe missed everything blooming, but I'll kind of show you where all the trails start. All right, so you can kind of see the trail takes off that way and that way. There's a few real big through spots and then a bunch of little trails and then this uh, shelter that kind of looks like a longhouse. It's kind of neat. And uh, we'll probably check out as well, we'll check out um, Fort Nisqually and see if Never Never Land has anything left from when that was uh, over by Fort Nisqually. But not a whole lot here, so we'll keep going. Wow, look at that. I've never seen, I've never seen a, uh, one of those mushrooms that big. Has to be over a foot wide. Dang. That's cool. It looks like as of the filming of this, the public access to Owens Beach is closed till the summer of 22. Holy cow. So I guess if you want to go down to the beach, you got to go maybe to the boathouse and then walk the trail, or maybe there's also an alternate route. We will, we will see, but look how pretty it is. And there's tons and tons of trails in here, lots of cool stuff to kind of look at, and a lot of cool viewpoints. Um, yeah, let's just see what we find. I'm not really sure if there's access to the beach, like direct anymore. Okay, here we go. Let's see where we end up. It appears that there's no direct access to Owens Beach as of right now, right now. Unless I missed a sign. But here's a pretty cool Vashon viewpoint. Let's see if we can see it there. It's pretty nice. I don't think you can go down right there though. Or if you, do, if you can, it's kind of sketchy. And then there's a little trail going off to the side. And so uh, keep going, guys. And uh, I think here might be... Is this what I was looking for? Um, yes, let's check this out. Okay, here's one of my f favorite spots. The Mountaineer tree. Look how big that is. It looks pretty similar to the one at the start of the park, but this one's been here a really long time. And... Uh, yeah, look at that. It's a native Douglas fir. 
And there's a little bit of history on it. And then it's so old, look, there's like a timeline <laughs> of when it's like, how long it's been around. Wow. This thing's pretty big, take a look. So yeah, it's a pretty big tree. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. So I went a little bit further and now we are at Delco Passage Viewpoint. You can see the sound right here and you can also see some of the mountains over there on the peninsula. Let me get some shots of this, it's pretty neat. So I'm now at the Gig Harbor viewpoint. It's pretty windy. Uh, I'm gonna go certain somewhere, get some good shots. Don't tell anyone. Let's go. Look at this. You can see the pretty water. You can see where the water cuts off down there in the sound. Now this is kind of sketchy here. It's probably why they blocked it off. Check this out. There's just a piece of cement and then it just drops like there's just like a slab because I remember walking here a long time ago. But not anymore. And sometimes you can see like seals and all types of animals down there, but yeah, don't walk on the cement like. Okay, and here we're driving onward to the uh, another viewpoint here. This one is the Narrows viewpoint, which is pretty cool. Let's see. Oh, there's a big speed bump. Whoop. Let's check it out. Nice. Yeah, you can see the Narrows pretty good. There it is, and then Titlo beach is over there as well pretty cool all right so now I'm at uh, Fort Nisqually which is currently closed but it's actually a reconstruction of the Fort Nisqually uh, I found that out in this book I read a while ago so it's made to look like Fort Nisqually it's kind of like a like a museum that they made everything's created but it's closed right now and something else I noticed, maybe the park closes at two, like they close the gates. I'm not sure if that's true, but we'll look here real quick. And we still got like an hour, so we're good. Yeah, check that out. I think they're on modified hours probably. The, some history there. And this is more towards the end of five mile drive. But yeah, look, there's like a tower over that way kind of cool and then they do like uh, reenactment type stuff where they wear costumes inside and everything's pretty like themed pretty cool can't really see in there that's too bad but I've been in there before it's pretty cool and then we'll walk this way and then see if we can see inside and then as well I think we'll go peek at where Never Neverland used to be. Off to Never Neverland. So over here it's kind of themed like a fort as well. Got some interesting things going on. I've seen deer in here before as well, just chilling. Yeah, when they open up you should definitely check out Fort Nisqually. So here we are, Alwit. 
I think used to be Never Never Land. I think the parking lot was here and then kind of here and it was next to Fort Nisqually. And if you don't know what Never Never Land was, it was kind of like a theme park that was storybook themed. There was, I think right here, there was a giant bunch of books, like in a stack. You walk through the books and then it was uh, Mother Goose themed, I think. Or some of this stuff was Mother Goose themed, like the stories. So, there's some parking there. I think the storybook, I feel like the entrance was went through here and went down. And then, I don't know if I'm 100% correct, but I think the giant shoe was right there. It was like a giant shoe. And then there's also some foundation here, which I don't really remember what could have been right here. But I'm pretty sure the giant shoe was here. Like the old maid with the shoe or whatever the story is. And then as you would walk into the park, oh wait, maybe the park was actually over there. All right guys, so I just shot a video at what used to be called Never Never Land. It doesn't even exist anymore, but I was looking for like uh, remnants and foundations and I found some stuff that's a separate video and I'll link that one up top. But that'd be kind of fun to walk back over to the Fort Nisqually and just kind of walk around these little wood things. It's kind of cool. Let's go. Whoa, that's cool. I actually feel like I am in the old times. Really peaceful. Home, home on the range. I remember going in these towers a long time ago now, but you can kind of like, I remember it's like you go up and then you can look through the little holes and see through. It's probably for like security why they did that, huh, back in the day. It actually kind of reminded me of uh, Knott's Berry Farms. When you go into the roller coaster, it kind of looks like that, the giant wood coaster at Knott's. Can we go around the whole thing? Oh yeah. I'm about to siege this thing, you know what I'm saying? All right, so I'm about to scale these walls, but before I do, I want to say thanks for watching. Uh, we missed some things like Owens Beach and we didn't really go in the middle of the five mile drive trail system. Um, there's also a dog park if you want to take your dog to an off leash park. It's pretty much just over here. And uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun. If you liked the video, hit that like button, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time on the Emilio Exploring channel. Ooh, look at that. From Point Defiance. I'll see you guys next time. Hmm. Goodbye. Yikes, look. Kind of see in there. Creepy.